Oh, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be optimizing our Blue Apron landing page on mobile. So I really love this page, uh, really well organized and designed. Um, but the problem is things like this huge photograph here were definitely taken, created with, with desktop in mind. As you can see, it's so wide, right? So we're gonna have to change a few things Let's go to our top drop down menu into mobile. As you can see, we can't even see the image because it's so wide. But the thing is, I'm going to leave it like that. We could put it on top or bottom, but it's not going to look good because, as I said, the image was made with desktop display in mind. So, what we're going to do is just start with uh, adjusting our sizes so they're more suitable for mobile. Okay, 24 seems to be the comfort zone. There we go. We could do the same here. Here, as I said, the reason I really like this page is because it's so well organized. There's not much we need to do for mobile optimization. These three columns that we duplicated are nice. You can see all the information you need to see, one including the picture and the text for each one. All right, as you scroll down, same thing, just these headings be a little bit smaller there we go we could maybe adjust the padding in this section a little bit let's go ahead and do that uh, box styles let's just hit it at zero yeah there we go and then we could do it for this this section as well just to make things a little more cozy on the mobile screen Okay, this section as well, really like this page because it's so responsive. Our dividers are in a nice place. The information is easy to read, the, the image and then the text are separated. Okay, same here, just the headings. Yeah, you just have to go through, make sure the head, <clears throat> excuse me, the headings and the text don't look massive on the screen, don't take up too much and are easy to read. Uh, this section, as we couldn't duplicate it exactly, um, I just used a screenshot. Honestly, for this, I'm just going to remove it. Okay, remove it on mobile. Unless we had a functioning slider that we could show reviews on, it has no place on the mobile screen. Okay, there we go. Now, the really important thing, which we haven't covered in any other videos, is are tabs. So the tabs are responsive. They look good. They function well on mobile as well. The problem is there were eight different dishes in each tab, right? And when you have one displaying on a screen or one or two, I guess, displaying on the mobile screen at once, I mean, you got to scroll so far to get through these, right? So let's say I want all eight to show on my desktop, but I only want four to show on mobile. So I'll show you how to do that. So you're just going to select each block. You're going to go over to advanced. This is a really good, useful trick. Okay, advanced on the block. And at the bottom here is hide on. Okay. And I'm going to hit hide on mobile. I can hide it on tablet. I can hide it on laptop. I can choose anything, but we're focused on mobile now. Okay, hide, hide. Hide and hide. Okay. I'm just going to remove this. Okay. Remove that row. Okay. So as you can see, we've got four now, right? So that's a lot less scrolling for a mobile user. But let's see if we go back to here. Why have they hidden on desktop as well? Oh, you know what? It's because I deleted that column. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That was my mistake. Yeah, there we go. So we've still got this row here. Yeah, there you go. So don't, don't delete the row at the bottom there. It's going to leave some blank space, but it'll be hidden. Okay, as you can see, we can see eight. On the desktop, go to mobile. It's just 
four, right? Okay, so remember that for sure. Review this, give it a try. Super useful for mobile optimization, especially when you're using things like slideshows or uh, tabs or something with like a long list that would take forever to scroll through on, on a mobile device, okay? So good luck, see you in the next video, thank you.